Hello from Gigant's production hall. Today I'll be showing you how to change the hub unit on a 5.5 tons rigid axle. Once we have determined that the hub unit needs to be replaced, we must secure the vehicle against rolling away and observe the general safety regulations. When we've done that, we can disassemble the wheel. Then we adjust the adjusting screw of the automatic slack adjuster counterclockwise until we can remove the drum without any problems. In the event that the brake drum cannot be removed, we've inserted two threaded holes into the drum, through which the drum can press from the hub unit with the help of screws. Now we remove the brake drum and have direct access to the hub unit. To be able to remove the hub cap, it is recommended to block the hub unit. Now we loosen the hub cap. After removing the hub cap, we check if the o-ring is damaged. If this is the case, we must replace it with a new one. Now we see the axle nut. With the axle nuts, we need to differentiate between left hand or right hand thread. To see this clearly, a groove is inserted in the axle nut with the left hand thread near the contact surface. Now we loosen the safety screw and use the screwdriver to open the gap a little. When doing so, make sure that we do not damage the thread. Then we can remove the extra nut without problems. Once we have removed the extra nut, we can screw on the mounting mandrel and then pull off the entire hub unit. We put on the mounting mandrel before disassembling the hub unit to prevent damage to the threads. After removing the mounting mandrel, clean the axle stub, including the thread. Then the bearing seat is lubricated evenly with not too much separating agent. It is important not to apply the separating agent to the thread. Now we can screw on the mounting mandrel again. Now we can slide on the hub unit up to the stop and remove the mounting mandrel. Before we can install the axle nut, we grease it a little on the front. When screwing on the axle nut, we turn the hub unit so that it just get jammed. Now we can tighten the axle nut to the right torque. When tightening the safety screw on the axle nut, ensure the correct torque. Now we can screw on the hub cap and, of course, it is also important to tighten it with the right torque. Furthermore, it is important to ensure that the o-ring is not squeezed out. Once we have positioned the brake drum, we can put on the wheel. Finally, we readjust the automatic slack adjuster and check the brakes. And now our hub unit replacement is complete.